Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. And now, this video is nothing to do with a pen that I have, um, but I'm interested in what other people, my viewers, you lovely people, are thinking of this pen, the Platinum Curidas. I've probably completely mispronounced it, but it's a uh, pen from Platinum which is due to arrive on the shelves in the stores in February 2020. Now, it's a retractable nib fountain pen, similar to the Pilot Namiki here in the UK, also known as the F Pilot Vanishing Point in the USA, um, and I suppose the Lamy, Lamy uh, Dialogue 3, which are generally quite expensive pens. Um, the Vanishing Point Namiki from Pilot are uh, much more affordable, but still in the £100 plus mark thereabouts. Um, whereas the Platinum Curidas has a very similar retractable nib uh, system, capless system, um, which is, well, I believe it's going to retail for around $64. Goulet pens in the USA, they are pre-advertising um, the Platinum Curidas at $64. US dollars. So, it's going to be interesting to see whether it's worth it at this price. Now, I've got up here on my screen the official Platinum Curidus part of Platinum Pen's Japanese website. So let's just have a quick look through and look at the main parts of this. So I'll click with one hand and I'll get back to this in a minute because I'll be interested to see what people think about this. So. Anyway, it's an all-plastic pen, it's a demonstrator, which is available in different colours. Now, you can see on here the nib pocket retracts into the barrel of the pen, and there's some sort of elastomer stroke rubber plastic sealing system. So I'm not entirely sure how this works, um, but it's interesting. I may well buy one of these pens just for the, um, just for the fun of it, just to see how this thing works. Um, let's have a look through. Now there is a graph on here basically saying that at the time it will take for the nib to uh, dry out, I'm guessing um, the ink in the reservoir to uh, to dry out is many months, but well, I think time will tell. It looks an interesting pen. Now it has got a detachable clip and there is a range of colour options. Now the colour options on here, left to right, uh, there's five of them. There's Prism Crystal, which is a clear colourless demonstrator. Graphite Smoke, which is a grey demonstrator. Urban Green, which is, to be honest, actually quite a lovely looking demonstrator uh, in green. Um, there's Abyss Blue, which is a nice dark blue demonstrator. And Gran Red, which is a transparent red demonstrator. Now you notice on here the nib unit and the clip there are, um, are quite similar to some of the other capless designs of fountain pens. Now look at this thing up here with the uh, prism crystal on the left there. That's the pen with the nib retracted and you get this stonking great thing, this push button like you would do on a uh, ballpoint, retractable ballpoint pen. Now I don't know whether that's really going to affect the um, overall design of the pen, but certainly it's it's a design aesthetic that I'm not particularly happy with, particularly as the clip down here. Um, if you stick this into a shirt pocket, you've got this area sticking out of the pen, this, uh, this knob to um, push and retract the nib. So it's, it's, it's going to be a funny looking pen. Um, let's just zoom back in. There we go. So, it's going to be interesting. The clip is removable, as I've mentioned. Um, it comes with a tool to remove it. So if you wanted to remove the clip, you can do, which is good. Because I think that some people might fear that that clip gets in the way of the, um, the uh, grip on the section, barrel of the pen, where you hold it comes in an exclusive box. Now the ink replacement, there is a video on the um, website talking about this and it's it, it doesn't look fiddly but 
it, it's something to bear in mind. Now it takes platinum cartridges. Now these are proprietary cartridges, same as a lot of other, in fact not all, platinum pens. Um, and that might be something which puts people off. You can obviously refill the cartridges with whatever ink after you've cleaned them out, but at the end of the day, cartridge uh, filler only. I don't know whether this will take the platinum converters or the um, little... Uh, uh, adapters you can get for uh, for converters. I honestly don't know. There's no information about that, and it tells you how to remove the tool. So yeah, there's a bit of information on there, and also all the uh, various product codes telling you that the pen nibs are available in in available in extra fine, fine, and medium. Um, Let's just have another look at the uh, the colours on this. So we'll go to the images and let's see what these things look like. Now this image up here, let's have a quick look at this. This is from Goulet Pens. So what do you think? That knob, the bottom, sticks out one hell of a way from uh, from what I'm thinking about the pen. I don't know anything about it. But I'd really, really like to know what you guys and girls are thinking about this pen. Are you going to jump on board and buy one? $64, 64 US dollars. To me, doesn't sound unreasonable. Um, it's certainly within my price bracket just to try one of these pens when it hits the UK. I don't know. There's no record of any of the UK retailers stocking this pen as yet um, so it is it is going to be interesting to see what the UK prices on these uh, these pens are so let me know your thoughts is this something which you're going to uh, pull the trigger on or not and why so let me know in the comments down below um, I'd be really interested to see what people think of this pen I'm guessing there's going to be some people that say, please, Rob, can you uh, can you get one of these pens and review it so I can make a decision, which is definitely a possibility. Um, so let me know your thoughts. I'm not 100% sold on the design of the pen. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to have to be a case of wait and see what the UK prices are. Uh, but it will be interested, uh, interesting, and when I do get one, I'm not even saying if, it's probably when, <laughs> when I do get one of these pens, I will certainly do a, uh, a quick, uh, quick tour of the pen and a uh, full review in due course. So, once again, let me know your comments down below, and thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.